Well, good morning, everyone. So today we are out on the road. We are thrifting. Today we are going to Goodwill. I'm hoping to hit probably one or two stores. This will be the main Goodwill on Route 30 in Lancaster. Thank you to all of you guys who come up to me and say hello. I never mind that. I always love meeting everyone. And it is a great job to have. Not only am I finding treasure out in the wild and reselling it, I get to make friends with all of you guys. All right, let's hit the road. I don't know where I'll wind up second, but I'm hoping to get two videos filmed today because this weekend is a big weekend for Roger and I. We have rented a very large cargo van, I guess it's called, and we are driving to Connecticut to pick up some great inventory. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get on the road. Let's go thrifting together. All right, we are just in the door and look at this great chair. Ooh, 65. What is the color tag of the week? Oh darn, it's green. Tommy Bahama Relax. Imagine if that was green tag, I would have gotten this for $2. Very cool chair, 65. I don't know, somebody would want it. If there were two, I'd be crazy enough to buy it, but one, maybe not so much. All right, the store is filled. Looks to be really good. Let's hone in on green tags. Okay, winter coats are a hard thing to store until people need them. Now, it is winter somewhere in the world, but wow, look at this big one. Oh, this is vintage. What do they get for this? 15, that's not bad. All right, let's get back to hard goods. Now, we will be picking up clothing today, but I always like to scan the hard goods first. I think my biggest money makers have been hard goods. Although I have made really good money on clothing too, so. All right, these bowls are interesting. Ooh, how pretty is that? Is there a brand on the bottom? No, nope. what does that tag say? Let's see if we can turn this over. It only seems to be made of a natural material. Leaf bowl, boy, that's pretty. There's a smaller one right by it on the top shelf. $9.99. Those are very interesting. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get them because they are too big. Could be a mistake, but I'm going to leave those. Guys, look at these aisles. Such abundance in this store. Okay, we're going down the white aisle, but there will be all different colors. Like this red and black is pretty, $4.99. Oh, lots of crazing inside. What is that called? Solids, never heard of solids. But I wouldn't pick it up because of the crazing, but I do like that, very attractive. All right, let's see what's on this side. We're gonna do both sides at the same time, I think. That way we can scan quickly. Here are some lampshades or light shades. Oh, these are quite heavy. $4.99 each, that's not bad. These must weigh a good, this is over a pound. This must be about two pounds. Okay, here are some drapery pole holders, $6.99. I don't even think they're plaster. I think this is a plastic. Here's a little bud vase. How cute is that, a mermaid tail? Ted Baker. I really like that, $1.99, no damage. First item is going in the cart. How sweet is that? I want to be a mermaid. Ooh, this is a very large vase. Seems to be a project almost. Ooh, very heavy too. Typical 80s, I'm gonna say. Okay, so we are scanning. I do like this reticulated covered jar. Oh, Starbucks, kind of plain. I'm gonna leave that one down behind. Okay, this has a crack. I imagine a candle goes in this. $3.99. If that wasn't cracked, I would consider that. That's quite pretty. Let's see if I can turn this over. I don't think I can. Let me see if I can do it this way. Made in China. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> oh, is this jewelry down here in a bag? What is going on? It is just 
a bag of necklaces. What are they getting for this? $6.99. I wonder why jewelry is just thrown on the shelf. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. We have some pictures down here, some wooden pictures. Oh, those are quite lovely. Two of them. Frames plus. I don't think this is hand painted. I think it's mass produced. Five dollars. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to wait on them. Those are quite nice though. Oh, here's an egg in a cup. <laughs> I don't think these are meant to go together. Huh. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Okay, so as you can tell, the shelves are just jam-packed. So it's going to be hard to zero in on what is good. It seems like everything is good today. Lots of treasure here. There's a little pitcher back here with a fruit design. There's a gold and black glass. Looks to be uh, maybe for Hanukkah. All right, we're going to go to the previous aisle. We're going to backtrack a little bit because we skipped this one because there were so many people on it, but now it has cleared out a little bit. Ooh, ooh, gold pictures. Wow, that's pretty. I have never seen that. Okay, artwork is not moving quickly for me. I have been delivering a few pieces with a local pickup. Let's see what this piece is. It looks to be an embroidered piece. Let's see if I can get this out. Oh, it's got damage. Darn. Boy, is that pretty. Peace be to this house. That is so pretty. Am I in your way? Okay. Okay. Oh, this seems to be broken, unfortunately. I guess it was a key, maybe? Here's the other piece of it down there. Wow, guys, this store is just, it always has good inventory, but it is just overflowing with inventory. There is so much to look at. I'm not sure whether to come down one side and go up the other. I think I'm gonna have to because there's so much to look at. This little basket is cute. That would be sweet for a picnic, $4.99. You could keep your implements. Although I wish it was hand painted. That's a decal or a transfer on the end, unfortunately. If that was hand painted, I would probably grab that. Okay, let's see what else we're seeing. A body dome. Oh, this is tempting. I do like this type of exercise, but $20. It's a balance ball. I always enjoy um, this type of exercise. I think it's Pilates. Okay, so I'm passing up the aisles that have a lot of shoppers on them. So we're gonna be all over the place today. Look at this candle holder, $4.99. That is some candle holder made out of plastic resin. It's a little teapot. I do like teapots, but I like when it's a more modern design. This is quite um, old-fashioned looking, I'm going to say. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's lovely. Okay, I really like this. There's no marking on it. $2.99. It's a bud vase, but isn't that lovely? You can see the three points where it was put into the kiln. I think it gets put on cones. I think I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm keeping this one, $2.99, just gorgeous. This vase is very interesting, $6.99. I don't think it's old. It's got kind of like a distressed, no, it's not crackle, but it's got indentations on it, like a thumbprint. What is this called? It's not sandblasted. I don't know what this is. Leave a comment down below if you guys know what kind of glass this is. This is a new one for me. Seems to be newer. I don't think this is vintage. There's no vintage dust in it. <laughs> and there's no marking. There's no pontal mark. But did catch my eye. 
So if you are a glass person, let me know what you think of this piece. Okay, here's a little set of Temptations. These are cute. They're just so darn heavy. Okay, so $5 for two, that is very fair. I know there are Temptation dishes and serviceware that brings good money. I just stay away from it because it is so heavy and shipping is at an all-time high. Here is, good morning, how are you? Good, good, thank you. Here is an owl napkin holder. This was put out by Home Essentials. Home Goods had it for $5. It's a blue, a blue owl for $3. All right, I might pick him up. Does he have any damage? The past couple of weeks I've been missing the damage because life is crazy, but I'm trying to be more careful. And even though this was only $5 in Home Goods, I think he's kind of cute. I'm gonna put him in the cart. Here on the bottom shelf is this cute little dollhouse hutch. I don't think this is wood. I think it's a wood composite, but it's decorated for Christmas and I think somebody might want this. I don't know the scale. Let's open these little, oh, this is so well made. There's two little, two little snowmen in here. Okay, I don't know who that says, Derek. Huh, very interesting. I'm gonna leave them in there. But $3.99, I'm gonna take this. I have to look up how to tell the scale of different um, pieces. I know there's 112 and just different fractions for the scale, but we're gonna go ahead and take this, $4. I think somebody's gonna want this for their, for their dollhouse. In that goes. Oh, this looks like one of those decoupage handbags, but it's not a handbag, it's a box. But it is decoupaged. Oh, this is sweet, $3. I'm gonna have to peel off that tape. Hopefully it didn't do damage to the box to see if it's damaged inside. How cute is that? I think this is vintage. $3, we're gonna take that. I also found a green tag and tailor, is it? No, J. Crew black label merino wool sweater. If this wasn't $2, I probably would not pick it up, but we're gonna take that. Okay, there's a worker on the other end, so I'm gonna make a U-turn so I don't get in their way. So I've been sharing with you guys that artwork is my slowest seller. You're waiting for that right buyer. So really I should stop picking up artwork because it does get backed up at my house. But look at this watercolor and it's signed. It's got a little bit of wave going on like moisture. Got to the, this seems to be paper. Okay, that is quite lovely. I would take it out of the frame because the frame has quite a bit of damage. Oh, it would be nice to see who the artist is. Hmm. I think that's Switzerland, maybe. I think if the paper wasn't damaged, I would take this one. Oh, I do want it. All right, I'm gonna leave that. So I'm sure we've all known about Hess trucks and the high money they were bringing a long time ago. Most of them, in my opinion, do not bring high money anymore. So you have to look up each one individually to keep track of all of this. This is the 18 wheeler and racer. Goodwill won $6.99 a piece. So I'm not taking the racer, toy truck and racer, toy truck and racer. What I am taking, toy fire truck bank. This is new in box as far as I can tell. Now when I get home, I will open this up completely. I think these will bring probably about $50, $7. And again, I will check it before I leave this store. This is the helicopter. So it's the toy truck and helicopter. And this one is the helicopter with motorcycle and cruiser. So for me, I have to look up each one individually. And yeah, it's a little bit of work, but the profit can still be good on a few of these. Here is a vintage, very vintage. This is all handmade. This is a toolbox. $4.99 Goodwill wants, and it is painted the most beautiful green. I don't know that the person using it is going to care that it's a beautiful green, but I do. When you open it up, you can see how old this thing is. 
and I'm not quite sure what these are for, but they are made by Stanley. I'm going to guess some sort of clamp. No idea. But for $5, I'm going to take a chance on this. I think that's a great find. Hopefully, other people will think so too. Okay, one of the benefits of doing so much shopping in thrift stores is finding items for yourself. So I am always late to the party. Here's an air fryer, $14.99. I guess I just pull this open. I've never used one. Looks pretty good inside. Looks like it hasn't been used. So hopefully it works because there's no returns in this store. So you're always taking a chance. Okay, I don't even know how to get this close. I'll play with it later. All right, leave a comment down below if you love your air fryer and what your favorite thing to cook in it is. <laughs> Stuff like this always makes me laugh. I think I'm like an eight-year-old girl inside. It's made out of pottery, mass-produced, still very fun. I think they're missing their whiskers. All right, so I really came up front to get a second cart because having all of this in one cart was getting a little bit hard to get up and down the aisles. And now I'm reconsidering this chair here. This is teak and it is a good chair. 65 is just a little bit high, but I'm thinking I could probably flip this for 200 on Facebook Marketplace. Now, like I said, if I had two, if I could buy two, I would. it would be a no brainer, but one is a little bit of a harder sell. So, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take it. All right, guys, that ends this part of the video. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Okay, it is Sunday evening, about 6 p.m., and I am just getting ready to pull some of the weekend solds. This is a task I never mind. It's very relaxing. Sometimes I put on a movie and listen to it or some music and just enjoy the time down in the basement, just pulling items that sold and feeling really accomplished. So today was a busy day. I did get a lot done. And what else is going on? I think that's about it. So we're going to pull shipping together. I'm going to um, just see what's sold and tell you uh, what the item brought. And I might include what I paid for it. I try not to do that in case some of the buyers are watching. I never want anybody to feel bad, you know, about what the pay in price was. It's just like you go to J. Crew or Macy's. You never ask them what they paid for the thing that you're buying. You just buy it. So for me, it's the same thing. But I do like to show for those of you who want to resell, what kind of profit can be made? I am just back from a Facebook Marketplace local pickup. Uh, it took me five minutes and I sold the ribbon mirror. Try to remember to insert a screenshot of that. $40. I think I paid seven for it. And that was a recent pickup in, where did I get that from? Oh, probably Goodwill. I don't know. All right, let's get on before I start chit-chatting. First item is Allegria uh, 38 Wedge Slide sandals and I'm going to go into it to see what they brought. Okay, so the sandals brought $35 pair of black. Now if you're new here, I do keep all of my shoes on shoe racks which just recently got moved. So <laughs> still finding my way around even though it's not really that big a space. Okay, so they're going to be here on this side. These might be them here. We'll bring them into the light. $35. Most shoes I'm paying between $4 and $8. I expect I probably paid, I'm going to say closer to the 8 mark, maybe $6.50 or $7, something like that. This is what they look like. Beautiful condition. These don't even look like they've been worn. $35 and the buyer pays shipping. All right, let's go on to item number two. Okay, this next item is a beautiful April Cornell dress. I just picked this up. So pretty, what a gorgeous print. And I love this inverted V for the bust. This is an empire waist. You can see the detail on this dress size medium, and the buyer paid $75. This one is so new to inventory, I didn't even get a chance to pack it. Flutter sleeve. So pretty. I hope the buyer is really happy. Okay, next up we have a Steelers jacket. This is a men's, so it's either on the jacket rack 
or I do have one bin of jackets. I try not to fold down jackets because they take up so much room in the bins. But if this one is in a bin, we're going to check there first. It brought $24 men's outdoor jackets and vests. We're going to pull this bin. Okay, so I've opened up this bin. You can see that this bin is quite filled. Tommy Hilfiger, Nike Golf, Ring of Fire, Nike Jacket. Oh, this might be it here. Steelers Pro Line Extra Large Jacket. I don't know how long I've had that. I'm going to say probably a couple of months. $24 it brought. And I think I paid either $4.99 or $5.99 for that. All right, I'm going to leave all the bins open. Because like I said, I've learned my lesson. Just when I close up a bin, something in that bin has sold. And I have to reopen the bin. I do have this little table set up, but Roger is definitely taking over this wall. We have been pricing shelving for him, and that's probably going to go on in about two weeks. Now, this coming weekend, I think we're heading to Connecticut for a large purchase. Somebody contacted uh, me and wanted to know if I wanted to buy their inventory because they're moving. So it looks like Roger and I are renting a cargo van and taking the four to five hour trip to Connecticut to buy some inventory. That should be great fun. And hopefully I'll video about that. All right. Next up is Ikea uh, Two Curtains Matilda. And I've sold probably two or three of those I got multiples of those. This one, I think, is the last one I have. So it's going to be in curtains down here. Quilts, quilts. Okay, where are curtains? I think my curtains might be there. Um, yep, looks like that's where it is. I'm going to pull down some, some bubble wrap. Now, right now, the basement is a little bit um, unorganized for me because I've been pulling up some flooring I had in storage. So a couple of years ago, I had the kitchen renovated and um, they put down the hardwood bamboo and I had some left over and I'm having my office floor done in that when we do the renovation. So I wanted to pull that flooring up. So things are kind of switched around. I knew it would get like this and um, I'm just hanging in there. All right, we are looking for Matilda curtains. I think these might be them right here. Um, nope, these are Linda. So these are Matilda. Matilda. Beautiful, like a sheer um, panel with a little bit of a textured polka dot print. All right, let's put Linda back in. Trying to do all of this with one hand. I picked these up in Reuse It thrift store, I believe. Was it Reuse It? I think so, in New Holland. And what did I pay for these? I think I paid $10 for these. I'm not sure about that. They sold for $18. So uh, not a great profit, but still a good profit. The next item that I'm going to pull, a Lily Pulitzer Medium V-neck top. It is an elephant print, $24. I imagine I paid uh, $4.99. I don't think it's on this rack. Let me take a quick look. My tops and blouses are in this area. I don't see it. It's going to be in a bin. That means I folded it, packed it away. It's going to be in medium prints. This is tops and vests. And it's going to be in this bin. We're going to pull that bin. And this is what the medium prints bin looks like. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty print. <laughs> that's not it, but sometimes I like my own inventory. Oh, I think I see it. This is it here, Lily Pulitzer. V-neck medium top. And this is an elephant print. Like I said, $24. So pretty. Next item that's sold is a vintage Lucite clock. Um, this is Sessions. I believe that is going to be on the glass shelf. I have a few glass shelves and they are looking a little bit empty. Glass is selling, <laughs> which I'm not crazy about packing glass, but Lucite's not too bad. So I'm going to move these salt and peppers and this little controlled bubble bud vase. We'll move that out of the way. And I see the Lucite clock back here. Let's bring this into the light has seahorses in it. I'm not even going to say how I feel about that. It is what it is. It's vintage, $44. And I imagine I paid under $5 for this. 
So I do put beach house decor in my title when I sell something like that. And yeah, that's what it sold for, $44. Next up, Brooks Brothers, a pair of men's Hudson Chinos pants. They seem to be a beige color, I think. They're khaki, so most likely they're going to be folded down. They are in men's pants. Men's uh, pants, I have two tubs of. Now, this is not jeans because men's jeans are on this section of the wall. Here are neutral pants. So this is going to be the bin they're in, and we're going to go ahead and pull that bin down. So I've looked through this bin, did not find them. Here's a Brooks Brothers here, but this is 35 32 So I know that's not them. That means, again, they're not folded yet. They're going to be in the men's pants which I keep under cover here. So this is the men's uh, pants that are not folded yet. It's either going to be this pair or this pair. This is PGA Tour, so it's going to be this pair here. I do very well with Brooks Brothers. So when I see something really nice, I go ahead and pick it up. If I can have a low buy-in price. Some of the thrift stores are really um, pricing up, and I just don't buy it. I just don't buy that inventory. I'd rather shop more or shop with a thrift store that has a better price point than to just give in and pay a lot. I'm going to say my buy-in price was probably between four and six dollars for these and they sold for eighteen dollars. All right next up oh is the bow lasso necklace. I have to think of where I keep jewelry now. So I have expanded my jewelry inventory and it has moved from this bin. So we did have jewelry in kind of like a little bit of a big shoebox size. And now we are in a full size jewelry belt buckle bin. Oh, it's a heavy one. I'm going to lift this up with two hands on the table and we will look for the bow necklace. When I start to increase inventory in one type of item like jewelry, I start adding numbers to it because if I just threw everything in, it's not like this stuff has identifying marks that are easy to see. Like if you package a blouse and it's a J. Jill blouse, right away you can see the tag. But something like this, in my opinion, needs an extra marking on the outside. Side. So I am just looking for the number. I think I see it over here. This is number 117. It is a gold tone bow necklace. I just picked this up at Mount Joy Thrift and Gift, or Gift and Thrift, I think it's called. And that one sold for $24.99. Okay, next up is a J. Crew woman's silk uh, tank top. It is a metallic paisley, $23. Again, I'm going to take a quick look in blouses before I dig through a bin. And I think sleeveless will be in this area. Here it is here. <laughs> so that is what that looks like. Let's bring this into the light. I love a metallic thread. This is beautiful under a jacket, blazer, sweater. And I could just make sure that this is the right tag. J. Crew. And there is the new, the new store label. So pretty. Okay. After that, oh, another piece of jewelry, two more pieces of jewelry sold. The first one is the owl necklace, number 126, and a shell necklace, number 121. So these are just listed. I think this might be the beach necklace. Yes, it is. $16, number 121. And if you guys remember, I picked up all of the jewelry in a half-off necklace sale. I got there very early and was able to score quite a few necklaces. The next one I just sold for $5. I picked it up. I felt like a young person might want it. It's an owl on a string and number 126 I'm looking for. Okay, so that's 122. Should be fairly close. Here it is. Number 126. Like I said, only $5, but... I figured some young person might want this. The Tahari home drape panels sold $22. And I think these are them here. So it's two drapery panels. And I didn't even get to pack these yet. But they are all cleaned and ready to go. I will just pack them with tissue paper and um, put them in a recyclable bag. And then into a poly mailer. $22. Can't even remember what I paid for them. 
All right, the next item that's sold is probably going to be a cancellation because local pickup on eBay is very hard to get the buyer to recognize that I'm not shipping this. So I'm going to squat down here so you can see this. See this big uh, metal bulbous vase? I'm going to move the Indian out of the way. Let's see if I can get this out. You guys can see how big this is. And this is local pickup only. So the buyer paid and they're waiting for it to ship. And meanwhile, this one I'm not shipping. So I either have to cancel the sale or insist they pick it up. So we'll see if the buyer picks this one up. But for now, this just gets held till they make arrangements for it. Next item up is a J. Jill white woman's belt. Well, it's not a white woman's. <laughs> it's a woman's belt that's white. <laughs> $18. Got to be careful how you say stuff. All right. Belts are over here, multicolored and black. Um, this one is backwards. That's brown. So it's going to be in here. I'm going to pull this bin out. Okay, so this bin has all of the different variations of belts, different colors and textures, and also black. I have one full bin for brown because brown, where are we? Here. Brown uh, belts are probably the most common that I pick up. So it's not in there. White's going to be in here. And I believe this is it here. And I will check because these aren't marked. Let's bring this in the light. Yeah, pretty sure this is it. It's just a leather belt. J. Jill, I see the tag. And very easy to ship. You got to love belts. All right, so what did the belt bring? It brought... $18. I might have said that already. It sounds familiar. Okay, the next item is Annika Cutter and Buck Women's Golf Shorts, $12. It is the season for golf clothing. Can I just say that? We are at the end of March and everybody is starting to look for golf clothing. So I'm going to just go through these quickly. Skorts. I don't see it here. That means I have packed it which is just amazing in itself that I get any packing done these days. Size six. Now shorts are in this area here. These are shorts, uh, skort shorts and skirts. <laughs> I'm trying saying that three times fast. And I have another bin of just women's shorts. I think it's gonna be in this one. So we're gonna pull this one. The next item up, Lily Pulitzer. This is a pair of pants, um, size four. $44 they sold for. Good old Lily. Gotta love Lily Pulitzer. And they're going to be in slacks. These are them here. I think once you learn Lily prints, there's no, you know, mistaking them. Very bright and colorful. Always a very tropical print. Look at the color on these. How pretty is that? All right, so $44. No idea what I paid. I think probably $6.99. And the last item we're going to pull together, because I really got to gotta get a move on here, Lauren Ralph Lauren 6 Beige Chino Pants. These are going to be in the pants bin, which I think I've pulled already. Hopefully. Yes. Extra small, small. These are going to be colors and prints. And, oh, these might be them right here. Lauren Ralph Lauren 6 Pants Women's. So what did these bring? Let me grab my phone. They brought $16. Most likely I paid $4.99 or under for them. All right, guys. So I'm going to bring all of this upstairs and get packing for now. And then I will start round two off camera <laughs> so that I can get it done. I'm going to close everything up and, um, and just sit down and ship for a while. Probably put a movie in or put some music on and uh, just organize a little bit. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.